Ice Warren from the ICA with another tip on Resolve. Big thanks to Jason Wingrove who directed the footage we're using today. Uh, it was an FX PhD production. Uh, today I am going to show you how to just select what you want to change when you are doing a dynamic. A dynamic means you want something to change over time. So we want this green hedge to change color over say two seconds over time. But I just want the hedge. I don't want to change the size or node one or node two because they're doing other things for me. So if I select node three here and I go down to my qualifier tab, eyedroppers are selected and I left click across a sample of green. Okay, that's good. Just check I've got some green in there. Now what I need to do is to enable just that node. And to do that, I go to session up the top and there is a three-way toggle. All color PTZR. What that means, left on all, I mark a dynamic, it will mark the whole timeline. All the nodes. If I toggle it, which I've gone to color, that means it will just select green here on corrector 3, which is node 3. So when I now make a change, or go to make a change, dynamics at the top, start dynamic, and play my film just for a couple of seconds there, and then I will go to end dynamic or add mark, add mark means add dynamic after a start dynamic, you can see I have two little triangles facing each other. That means something will change over time but only on node 3 because this is the only one I do want to change. So now I've done that, I can come and I can just change there, everything in the key. I'm not too worried the fact this is in the truck, it's purely an example of how that this works. So now when I play my timeline, that is going to change just on there. The advantage of that is, if the director now says to me, oh, I need you to zoom that shot in as well, our PTZR layer here has not been affected by that same dynamic. So I can then click this again, session, all color, PTRZ, will then make that green, and I can start my zoom, start dynamic here, and make it run longer by going dynamics, add mark. So we can see that will be longer, and then I can zoom that picture in. So if I go to format, and I make sure I'm input, I'll just come, and just zoom that picture like that. have a look at that in the viewer. We will see if I come back hit play what will happen first it will start to move in independently and then it will start to change color and it's still moving in. It's still moving in there. It's a good habit to get in. Mark everything individually because if you don't you will get caught marking your whole timeline and you will then have to go and delete things. Quick tip, if you want to delete those marks, you just shift, click, and lasso them all like that. Then all you need to do is to right click and delete selected marks. Remember, the three-way toggle is up here. It's in session, and it's all color PTRZ. I use that a lot. It's very useful. It's a good habit just to mark what you need to change. Thanks for listening. Please keep your eye on the iColorist site and the iColorist Facebook page uh, for more information of both online classes and where an ICA class is coming to you in the world. Thanks, guys. Bye.